wanted to talk to you today a little bit about, I get a lot of questions about the coat and about shedding and about uh, how to care for the coat and brushing. Um, all of those things are based around the coat and I thought today I'll, uh, I'll show you something. I brushed mine out once already this spring. This is the second brushing. Normally two, maybe three times is what uh, it takes to uh, help him get rid of the inner coat. And so I have what's called a Ferminator brush. It's a very uh, uh, easy brush on the skin. It's not very long. It's got fine teeth. They're only about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch long. The key with a brush like this is you don't want to push it down. You just want to drag it along. You don't want to touch the skin. Just come up here, now this inner coat comes out in the spring and it uh, will shed a little bit in the fall and uh, it comes out quite easy and I just uh, find a spot out in the bush and run it real careful like over them and uh, it takes this coat out now it's pulling out the inner coat and that inner coat is quite uh, soft and very insulating and so they uh, get pretty uh, warm in the summer if they don't blow that out and this is what they look like when they start blowing this coat out and this uh, inner coat comes out all over the place now once you brush this inner coat out maybe it takes you three times I usually wait a week between each time for the next round to come and then uh, once you're done with that, you just let that outer coat seal the coat up again. The outer guard hairs will seal it up. And uh, you don't have to continually brush these dogs. I never brush them again during the year. They, they won't uh, no, come here. I don't brush them again. Now, some people say they brush them every day and they shed all the time. Well, the problem with that is, is you're just loosening up the coat. You're not allowing it to seal back up. So just stop brushing and they'll seal up. Once you got the inner guard, the inner coat out and the guard hairs seal up on the outside, they won't shed again. Now, if, they're, if they are shedding, then it's an issue with your feed and you're probably feeding not enough fish, not enough oil, and the coat is dry. Now it'll be dry right now because the, the, the concept is to dry the skin out and let this, this coat come out, right? That's what the Elkhound's trying to do. He's trying to shed that out of there, so it's a natural thing. Now when I was a kid growing up with these dogs, we never hardly ever brushed them even even when they're shedding, they would just roll in the bush and do it. But uh, I uh, I brush mine out. It's not not a big deal. But there were these brushes weren't around when I was a kid. We had an old uh, horse brush, but that was about it. And so we never worried about it. Now don't push hard down on the brush. Just just the weight of your hand is about all. Don't try and dig it down in. You just want it coasting over. Come up here. No. No. <laughs> come. Come ahead. Good. Just, just stand up there. Go ahead. Good. Just hang on. 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 The tail nest is right here. That's a tail nest, and his nest uh, is very good on Mon. It's uh, it's a special spot, and his tail is strong, so it uh, makes all that hair part properly there. A good outcome should have a nice tail nest there. Now, in the old days, they would take that, and wash it out good. Uh, spin that on some yarn and make their inner mitts but I don't bother but I should I could have a, 
a pretty nice uh, set of mitts because I have a fair bit of just let me see just stay right there Now fish is the key ingredient for a double coat dog. You need to have fish in the diet so the oil keeps the oil, the oil in the fish, the omega-3 oils, the essential fatty acids. You need to have that in this dog's diet so the natural oils come through and keep that skin nice and um, smooth and soft so that uh, he has very nice uh, a coat and his skin is good. Gotta have fish in the diet. Raw but frozen. I just uh, feed salmon primarily all the time is what I use is salmon. So I buy it with the head off, the guts out, and then I just cut it in strips. Just like little salmon steaks. Frozen. Feed it frozen. Now this dog eats frozen his entire life now. The only time he eats thawed food is when it's when he's a pup. Mon will go his entire life with frozen food. Dakota has been eating frozen food, his dad has been eating frozen food his entire life. I don't thaw out the patties. All the patties are cut at the processing plant. And so all the patties are in half a pound. So I just chuck them their patty up. And that's all gone in a second. Now, grass fed beef, grass fed pork, wild game, all of that has a ton of uh, essential fatty acids. Well, it has the omega-3 and omega-6 ratios, and that supplies that oil if you can't find enough fish. Now, if it's a coastal elk hunt, grew up on the coast, and uh, lots of the Norway dogs are coastal dogs, then they require more fish in the diet. And you'll tell a coastal dog easy by its coat. Its coat is really big, big. Leaf is a coastal dog, if you've ever seen Leaf's coat. Leaf has coastal blood. And so, Mon, you see, is much darker. Their coat's tighter. And so Mon is an interior dog. That comes out of Dakota, right? He's an interior dog. The Jamtons, they're all interior dogs, too. The Swedish Elkons. Bram was an interior dog. So he was not on the coast. So he ate less fish. Over the hundreds and hundreds of years, they, they ate more moose, basically. Come up here, Mon. Now, they had, they had lake fish, and they did have fish, but a lot of their diet was, was red meat instead of fish. And so, those dogs have a little different coat. And of course, the, the requirements in the elements changed a bit as well. But it was primarily uh, that fluffy coat, boy. You get one of them dogs, you, you've got to keep the fish in that dog. It's not quite as bad with, uh, with the interior types like this. Now, Mon, I may, just because he's so handsome, I may brush him one more time, but uh, primarily, this is about the last he'll get. But if you work with your dog real well and you, you've got a good rapport with your dog, he should just uh, be real nice for you to stand and brush out. And most of them like it, so not a problem. Now, I never bathe a dog. I give Dakota a bath one time. We tried to give Tora a bath one other time. We, did, we weren't successful. 
she's stronger than a Shetland pony, Tora. So she didn't want to have a bath, so we weren't able to give it to her. Ashton wanted to give her a bath, but I said, I don't think so. And it didn't happen. So we never bath any dogs. Completely odor free, even in the wet ground. You know that, right? An elk hound is, uh, has no odor. Come up a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, they're an odor free dog. Very good for kids with allergies, stuff like that. Rhea, Rhea. Rhea saw me coming up here with him. So she wanted to come. But uh, I brushed her out the other day. Come up here, come on. Come up here, bro. Come, let me just turn you around. Come on, turn. Just turn. Just turn back this way. But once this inner coat's all gone, now he'll blow a little bit of the loose stuff out and it'll shake out a little bit in the rain. But once it's gone, he won't shed anything again. I got all black carpet in my trucks and I don't see anything anywhere, anytime. You, uh, I don't have dogs in the house, so it's not something I uh, have to focus on a great deal. But even in the kennel, there's, there's not much there. Just hang on, buddy. Just hang on. Just a minute. Now, the other thing is, once this period of shedding is over, then his coat becomes just ultra luxurious again. Now, his sister's a little bit ahead of him. She, uh, she blew her coat first, and so did uh, Tico. So Tico's coat's already ultra luxurious. And I'll uh, maybe get a video of Tico later today and show you. Tico's supposed to be up north, but I hadn't had a chance to get him out of here before the COVID. And so he's still here, which is no problem, but he's got to get going. He wants to go to work. When you're hiking with these dogs in the summer, you want to hike out of the sun, hike in the shade. They uh, warm up pretty fast right in the sun. So we tend to hike in the tall timber in the summer, in the shade. And uh, even though you're taking out a lot of the inner coat, they still got a lot of coat left. And take it a little easier in the summer. Don't run hard, don't work hard just go along. I do all my conditioning in the winter, of course. And summer, we're just there to stretch out, have nice times, and nothing heavy duty. We try not to hike in the heat of the day, and uh, we just take her easy. Now, I'm not a big fan of back brushing because I believe it's hard to get that coat to lay back down properly, so I don't go this way. Some people do, but I don't. I would just as soon take what's loose, what's ready to come out, and that's it. And if it ain't ready to come out, I don't worry about it. See, you felt that there? see that that's not ready now some groomers you see they would work away on that and I'm not into that I don't think it's good for the coat the inside of the skin if the skin hasn't released it yet it's not ready to come out kind of like pulling hair out of your head
just come up here. Come up. That's okay, boy. Come up here. Good. Now, of course, in the show, they would have some fancy shampoos and really fancy groomers and get them all cleaned up and looking like a million bucks, but uh, Mon looks like a million bucks every day of the year, so he doesn't need anything too fancy. Mon is probably the most handsome dog on the planet. He's at least the most well behaved boy. This is a world class dog, this man. This is the son of Tekla. Mon was born on the night of the supermoon. Tekla had ten pups in three and a half hours. The moon just yarded them out. Mon was the first dog out. I had said to Dakota, you get me a big white chested guy so I know which one he is, and this is the one that come out right away. So I said, oh, there's my boy right there. He's such a magnificent fella. The bat up in Kelowna, she's uh, Betty there. She's really an exceptional uh, breeder herself. She raises bird dogs, but uh, they go through quite a process of gauging and checking and doing all kinds of things and they take a long time to determine which dog to keep and all that stuff and I brought Mon in there and uh, she says, wow, what a magnificent dog. How did you select him? I said, well, he's the first one out. And she said, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, no. <laughs> I said, every male in the litter was the same. I said, all my dogs are the same. You just pick one. And she says, oh, that's so fantastic. So, yeah. So his brother, Tico, is down in the yard just as good as Mon. And all his other brothers, Kronos and Max and Ripley. And there's more of them. Yeah, he's a tremendous dog, this guy. Jaeger is, uh, Jaeger is his brother as well. He's got a lot of brothers, like... I don't know how many, maybe 25, I don't know, maybe more, he got a lot. So you see we're coming to the end of it, right? There's not much left here. Not much left. Now, the other thing about doing it, if the air is a little moist, is the stuff doesn't blow around on you. It's pretty good. Do it on a day like today. Yeah, well, you're looking like a million bucks there, Mon. That's pretty fantastic, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, pretty good, buddy. Pretty good, hey? Pretty good. What a fantastic boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Little bit right here. Right here, little bit. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So that's all there is to that, right? That's all there is to that. So yeah. Now his coat will just a uh, couple days, week. All the dryness will leave 
and everything will come back in perfectly. And this coat will seal right up. It'll lay down tight. And the black guard hairs are about half inch to three quarters of an inch long. And they lay in tight now. This is a working coat. It's a very good coat. This is the best of the coats. So yeah, pretty cool. Well, that's a pretty good video, man.